Hi, Dan here, and here's another quick tip on goal kicking. Lean the ball slightly forward to expose the sweet spot. This is about a quarter of the way up the back seam. Goal kicking can be complicated, but you can make it easier by breaking it down to bite-sized pieces. And remember, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Morena Small Blacks, what's up? It's a special day today in the locker room because we have a legend joining us today. Get up off your seats, put your hands together for the Pakakariki Express, Christian Cullen. Come on through, mate. Look at that, still got the skills. Wow. Have a seat, mate. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, no worries. Well, mate, some of our Small Blacks might be a bit too young to remember you from your playing days, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm from uh, Pakakariki up uh, the Kapiti Coast here. Um, yeah, I played for Hofnoa, moved to Palmy, played for uh, a minute or two in the Vikings, then come down to Wellington and uh, obviously played for uh, Wellington in the uh, NPC and uh, the Hurricanes, and then made the All Blacks in, in 96. So I think we played 58 tests and 46 tries, I think, so... That's a lot of tries. Yeah, it's a few. <laughs> well, where does the name Pakakariki Express come from? I think it um, originated from there's a in Pakokariki there's a there's a train a steam train yeah and uh, I think that was called the uh, Pakokariki Express and I think I think it was Keith Quinn uh, commentating one day obviously because I'm from Pakok yeah and uh, yeah the, the name stuck uh, you know when I scored a few tries and the Pakok Express definitely a tongue twister eh yeah it is <laughs> yeah. but it suits because you know you're fast and everything like that but you know who else is fast I met Richard Kahui. He's coming up next on Cucks vs Kids. Welcome to Cucks vs Kids, the toughest rugby course in the world. It will take skill, speed, strength, courage, and just a little bit of luck to take down rugby World Cup winning champion Richard Cucks Kahui. Who is a contender and who is a pretender? Let's meet the challenges. He means business in blue, it's Dallas. He's a flanker and his favourite All Black is Captain Richie McCaw. Sam in yellow is the tall timber, that's why he's a lock. And his favourite player is Corey James. Thomas is the oldest of the bunch at 13 and his favourite All Black is Sam Kane. Sam, mate, what's your game plan for today's race? I think I'm going to catch up on the Spriggs because I do that quite a bit at home, so... Nice, nice. And Dallas, who do you think is going to be the toughest person to beat? I'm um, probably Thomas because he's more skilled in rugby and he's older than me. Thomas, eh? Hey, there you go. What do you think is going to be the hardest thing in the race? Putting on the sprigs because they're so small and I want to fumble with them. And Cux, beautiful day today, yeah? yeah? It's a beautiful day for racing. I feel like this is my chance. You know, I've slipped over a couple of the last couple of races, so this is my chance to win one. This is the one, eh? Ref, well, take it away, mate. On your march! Get shit! Uh, apart from you, now, now I know that you're a builder. And I'm, I'm thinking yeah. about what's this? Set. The uh, ref wants some building tips from, from our man cuts. Well, it's a power tool, isn't it? You can't even a cake with that. No, 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 here we go. Look, the ref has brought along his building plans. Looks right. like Cux's building expertise is going to cost him the race. I'm looking to entertain about 80 in there. I've got that many friends. Yes. At least, right, you know, it's heads now, down and eyes on the prize for our small blacks at the stud station. Look at your tools. What, what are you going to make with that? Well, I thought I would, you know, I'd use a bit of this. Tender ice and steak? Oh, well, no, this is for hammering That's and nails, us. isn't it? It's a hammer. So, so how Speaking of hammers, Check out the hammering to these tackle bags. I'm not booting that, man. I'm out of here. I'm not booting that. Go! Twinkle Toes Dallas, check out the form. Corey Jane would be proud. Oh! Let's see that again. Check it out, Small Blacks. Those feet are moving far too fast, and he's ended up on his nono. But it doesn't matter, because he's still our number one. Look at that. You can't build a deck with that stuff. Surely I can. Oh, uh, where Thomas a comes will, in second. Sam oh, will okay, take mate. third. And with results like fourth, Cucks, you might have to go back to building. 
Show us your prize. <laughs> Great work from our small blacks, but looks like our ref's going to have to get some new tools if he's going to build that deck. What do you remember about your first um, tour? Uh, well, probably my first big tour was uh, with the seven side. So we um, went to Hong Kong. So you still go to Hong Kong now and you're helping out with their junior rugby over there? Yeah, well, um, yeah, I've been up to Hong Kong a few times. There's a, obviously, there's a lot of expats up there, so uh, there's a lot of Kiwi kids especially, English and Australian, so they all love their rugby. Yeah. So there's a pretty big rugby community up there, so yeah, we get up there a few times and, uh, and help out with the sort of junior, junior rugby up there, which is good fun. Well, we get to travel around a bit as well. Roll the tape, check out what we got up to this week. a small black, I used to always practice with mean try scoring dives on the trampoline. I didn't score many tries back then, so I couldn't pull out my dives. But I thought to myself, if doing cool moves on a trampoline was a sport, I'd be the man. Well hey, looky here. Turns out doing cool moves on the trampoline is a real sport. Meet my mates James and Blake. They got cool moves on the rugby field, but even cooler moves on the trampoline. I'm in on a hunger at Extreme Trampoline to catch up with my mates James Dougal and Blake Costley, champion trampoliners who have all the cool moves. So I thought I'd get me some tips so I can bounce around the rugby field. So Angie, I want to learn how to do the flips and spins like Blake and James here. Where do I start? Well, don't get carried away, Noah. We need to learn how to stop first. It's all about being safe on the trampoline when you first start. Safety first, yes. So you're in the middle of the trampoline, and when you're jumping, you just bend your knees and stop the bed moving. Reckon you can do that? Like hitting the brakes. All right. You've got to bounce in the middle of the tramp. Yep. And then you just bend your knees and put your arms out. That's it. Oh, don't stop too fast. You might fall over. Let's try a seat drop. Blake will show you how it's done. And we're just going to land on your bottom with your hands next to your bum and up to your feet again. Legs out in front of you. Land on your bottom. Stand back up on your feet. Land on the bottom. Up to your feet. Oh, your feet. Oh, nice. Next step, swivel hips. So it's your seat drop that you learnt at the beginning. Seat drop, up, turn around. Oh, wow. Now the seat drop, up to your feet. Arms up over your head. So hands down for your seat drop, and then over for your twist, and then down again. Hands up, over, and down. And oh, and no. Stop. And a stop. Boom. Yeah. So what position do you guys play? I play half back. I play centre. So how far do you want to go with your trampoline? Um. It would be a big achievement to go to Olympics and an even bigger achievement to place at Olympics. You brought along your medals, give us a look. Enough medals to last a lifetime. So Blake, what's your favourite medal? Oh, this would have to be my favourite medal because I won it in a competition not in New Zealand but in Australia and I trained really hard for it. So you're the best 10 year old trampolinist in all of Australasia. How does it feel? It feels like I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite move? My favourite move would have to be a double front. How long did it take you to master that one? A um, couple of months, probably. So, Blake, what's your favourite move? Mine would have to be a Rudia, which is a double front flip with a one and a half twist. The boys showed me a cool game to practise their rugby and trampolining skills all in one. The rules are simple. Bounce, pass, <laughs> and don't drop the ball. Check it out, Small Blacks. They call it Space Ball. Blake and James showed me some wicked things on the trampoline, but I came here for one thing and one thing only. Mean try scoring dives. Welcome back to the show. We're here with All Black legend Christian Cullen. Now, mate, everybody likes to score tries. You're like myself, you know, we score a lot of tries whenever we want, really. Just, I used to do the old shimmy, shimmy spin. <laughs> you had the sidestep. What are your three tips to beating a defender and crossing the line? Uh, yeah, probably for like you and I, because we're not the biggest guys uh, on the rugby field. Um, I never used to try to run over people. Because you just get yeah. uh, you get yeah, smashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think my thing was uh, to try to get around him, or obviously you know the sidestep. So yeah. So if I'm the defender, 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, ball in two hands because once you tuck it, they kind of know you're going to run. Yeah, yeah. So I used to ball in two hands, and then as soon as I stepped, I'd tuck it, and then I'd have to fend. So you've got actually the record for the most points in a sevens tournament. Uh, yeah, yeah, I scored um, in Hong Kong in 96. I scored uh, 18 tries and, and uh, obviously a conversion. So I think it's about 137 points in a tournament. Wow. That still stands, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool to still have that. I don't think that's going to be beaten anytime soon, like old young Roy coming up in Small Blacks News. Welcome to... <sighs> On this day in 1926, 12-year-old Roy Nieper from Cavisham School in Otago set the record for most points scored in a school match. He scored 20 tries, 9 conversions and 3 penalties for a total of 127 points? It's nothing. I once scored 32 tries playing carpet rugby when I was 10. Still among us ever record. Sorry about that, Robbie. You ever played carpet rugby, Snakey? Mate, when I was a small black, they called me the carpet snake. Yeah, they used to call me the carpet king. Who are you wearing today? Well, as usual, that's a great segue, Pua, because today, I have the colours of the mighty King Country. And let's see what the people know. Mm. The rugby jersey I'm currently wearing. King Country. Ah, uh, King Country. What is it? King Country. King Country, correct. Uh, See, yeah. yeah. Woo, yeah, one for one. What is Waitomo famous for? Glowworms. Rugby. No. Cheery. Wine. Glowworms, the caves. The caves. It's caves. There we go. Tikawiri is closer to Hamilton or New Plymouth? Ooh, Hamilton. <laughs> we need an answer. I'll go, I'll go Hamilton. <laughs> New Plymouth. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we'd get there. And a big up to the Carpet Snake for another royal performance in the King Country. Take us out, buddy. Pua, and to all you good folks, stay on side, King Country. So, mate, what's the best piece of advice you've been given? Um, I've played in teams that have lost 112 to 8, and that was when I played for Hofnau, and uh, I played against Jonah playing for Counties. <laughs> and they beat us, um, yeah, 108 to 12. So, but someone said, never give up. Doesn't matter if you're winning by that much or losing by that much. I always tell that to the young kids now. Never give up. Give it 100% whether you're winning or losing. Wise words. Some more wise words coming up from Richie McCourt. Richie, I'm not very fast. Do you think I need to be for rugby? I'm not very fast either, so, uh, you know, I, I think that's the great thing about rugby is that there's positions for everyone. Obviously, you want your wingers to have a bit of, bit of pace, but um, my philosophy, especially for the position I play, is to be able to be fit and just keep going. I don't need to be fast, uh, real, the fastest in the team or anything. I just need to be able to keep going. And I think all the positions have slightly different, uh, you know, some positions need to be a bit faster than others, but the great thing about rugby is there's a position for everyone. Come on, son, get involved. You think Dan Carter just stood around looking at the ball? But, Dad, I... Don't listen to them. You tell the halfback you want it. That's what DC would do. But, Dad... Do you want to be an all-black? Dan Carter was scoring ten tries a game when he was your age. But, Dad... But what? I was only doing what coach asked me to do. Don't listen to your coach. Listen to me. I know what I'm... Hey, great work out there, Tommy. You know what? He reminds me of a younger me when I was a small black. Yeah, I was just actually telling him how much he reminded me of you. Okay, Tommy, <laughs> let's get back to the team. Come on. Small blacks rugby is not all blacks rugby. It's all about having fun. Welcome back, Small Blacks. We're here with All Black legend Christian Cullen. 
46 tries for the All Blacks, mate. Tell us about your favourite one. Uh, well, it was probably one against Australia when we played them uh, in Dunedin at, uh, at, at the old Carrisbrook there. So Stephen Larkin ended here and he, uh, he kicked the big bomb down to here. Yes. Zinzan Brook caught it and there's some defenders here and he almost threw a blind pass and I was here and I went charging through and he had a big long, gee, I'd say it's about 25 metre pass. It's no looker. Yeah, no looker. Pretty unreal. Got here. These guys turned and chased. And I kind of swerved, swerved, and everybody knows George Gregan, yep, yep. the little halfback. Yep, yep. He was he was there, so I kind of had to in and out, in and out, and uh, he almost fell over, and then uh, scored under the post with someone kind of tackling me. Yeah, I remember that. He was dragging you down like this. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll go on to... Do you watch game shows? Yeah, I do. Well, you're in luck, mate, because my favourite game show is coming up next. It's Rugger Quiz. Heidi ho ha hey everybody, and welcome to Ruggerland's favourite game show. Here's your host, the crushingly handsome Clark Lutzen. Yes, welcome to Rugger Quiz, where yellow meets green, and one team goes away feeling blue. <laughs> but let's meet the teams! Clark, this is how the smelly, ugly, filthy, green and mean team lines up. Power, Robbo, Squat, and Barry. And for the Yellow Bellies, Webb, William, Alice, and of course, Rugger. There's only one thing left to do. Let's get it gone. Hey, boss, them Ruggerby's gongs aren't gonging. Yeah, boss, should we wait until they're fixed? Wait until they're fixed? That would defeat the purpose of me doing this. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes alone. OK. <laughs> Here we go with our first question. Hang on a minute, Clark. Our gongs don't gong. Shouldn't we get them fixed first? I'm sorry, Ragga. You'll have to gong in before asking a question. Now on with the show. How many players in a scrum? Power. Green and mean. Eight from each side, Clark. That is correct. Green and mean jump out to a ten-point lead. Crikey, we all knew that one. How are we ever going to win with these broken gongs? Question at number two. Is a dolphin a fish or a mammal? Robbo, green and mean. Ah, uh, it's a fish, Clark, because it lives in the water. You're right, Robbo! Fish do live in the water! But dolphins have warm blood, so it can't be a fish! Minus ten! <laughs> OK, next it's our Tereo teaser. The multi word for dance is... Squat, green and mean. Who from the tomato sauce and custard? What can't you think of anything but your stomach? I'll open it to the yellow bellies. Mr. Clarkson, the Maori word for dance is cunny cunny. That's a hundred percent correct word, and that's a big boom this round of 1,000 points. Did he just say 1,000 points? I need more fingers. Now you know what time it is. I was born in 1982. I went to Southbridge Primary School. I have one sister, and my favourite subject at school was maths. Come on, guys. We need this. We're a thousand points behind. Dink! I first played rugby when I was six years old, and now I'm the first 5'8 for the Crusaders. Who am I? Robbo, green and mean. The thumbs count as fingers? Clark? I think that person is all black Dan Carter. Well, William, let's have a look, shall we? If you guess Dan Carter, then you were right. And that's another ten points! Oh, yeah! Going into the final round, it's the Yellow Valleys by a country mile! Take a look at this picture and answer the question, what am I? Squat, green and mean. 
Clark, that is a hot dog. That is a delicious answer, Squat. But I'm gonna have to say no, because here it is, a rugby ball. Clark, I'll, I'll eat it anyway. Okay, let's all go out for a steak buying cream bun, because that's the end of our show. Yellow Valley's do it again. But before we go, let's have a look at next week's What Am I Kids? If you know the answer, the text to the 4 triple eight to win this great rugby ball. I'm Clark Clark, and I'm running out of breath. I'll see you all next week. Those mountain men, eh? They'll do anything to win. Speaking of the mountain men, if you want to win this Rugger Tales Adventure DVD, text Rugger Tales to 4888. We've got three to give away. Could be coming your way. So when did you realise that you wanted to become an All Black and take rugby seriously? Oh, oh, to be honest, man, I, wanted to, I watched the All Blacks when I was five years old. I remember Dad waking us up when they were overseas and yeah. three o'clock in the morning, uh, watching them on the telly. So, yeah, I mean, pretty young. Well, our All Blacks teach our small black skills every week. Let's see what they've got this week. Hey guys, I'm Puriwipu, and today I'm going to show you a really basic passing game to sharpen those skills. Because if you can't catch and pass, you're in a whole lot of trouble. Let's take a look at how the pros do it. Here is Nonu, doubling around his crew, and good run here. Defence on him, but nicely placed. Messam short pass to McCaw, held on. Now Aaron Smith again, Cruden works it off to Nonu. Nonu probing. Here's Smith going on a bit of a probing run. Then he got his pass away. Nicely done. Shuttle passes was a drill I learned when I first started playing rugby, and we still do it now in the All Blacks. All you need for this drill is a ball and three mates. First, you're going to split up and stand about five metres facing each other, and two on one end and one on the other. Player one passes to player two, typical, and then follow the ball and runs behind player two. Player two then does the same, and passes to player three, who does the same and passes back to player one. Repeat this 10 times, concentrating on good, clean passes. Here's our small blacks with how to do it right. I know you're probably thinking this is really easy peasy, but like coach used to tell me all the time, there's no point in trying the flash stuff if you can't do the basics. Once you've done it a few times with no drop balls, switch it up and practice a few different types of passes, a long pass or even a pop pass. But remember the basics. Finger spread, carry the ball in two hands and put the target up so that the passer knows where you want the ball. That's all for this week, so get some mates together and get into it. Or, even better, sign up for All Blacks Camp for Kids and learn a ton of new skills. Check it out at abcforkids.co.nz. Right, that's Small Blacks TV done and dusted for another week. Before we go, high five to the legend Christian Cullen. Thanks for coming on the show. No worries, thanks for having me. And we will see you next week. I mean, this is just a child you might to just beat you. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, try to stop me. I'll pull out my shimmy shimmy spin that I was telling you about, eh? Okay. Right. So, oh. Shimmy shimmy spin. Oh, shucks, look at the Jonah. What's up with that? Oh, he's done him! <laughs> you got that on tape. No more beating yeah, Christian yeah. Cullen. Shot. <laughs> yes. And it's my favourite. <laughs> mm. And hot. Nice work, Tommy. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.